Hi everyone, Leanne here. And I wanted to, to introduce you to my fountain pen collection. Now, I've only been obsessed with fountain pens for about a month now. And I'll probably explain more later as to how I got into it. But today I just wanted to show you my quickly, quickly growing fountain pen collection. Um, I'm gonna try to go in um, the order in which I got them. Um, and as you can see, I have some here in this little carrier that came in this Galen leather pouch. Just got this recently in the natural leather. Um, I also have some of my pens housed in this Franklin Kristoff pen roll. It's uh, kind of got this waxed canvas feel to it, really nice and sturdy. And so I have that. Um, but why don't we just go ahead and get started? But the first pen that I got is this uh, black All Star Lamy Safari, or sorry, it's a black Lamy Safari All Star, and it's in an aluminum uh, material here. So that is my first one. The second one then that I got is this Lamy Safari in terracotta. So those are my first two that I got. And then after that, I got this Twisby Eco, and this is in the black demonstrator pen. Let's see here. And then after that, I got this uh, Twisby Eco, and it's in the clear demonstrator. Here, when I show you. Then after that, I started dabbling into the Caveco, the Caveco Sport. And so this one here is in a navy blue. And I'll probably go into all the nibs when I write out my um, samples or my swatches. And this is in a fine nib. Most of my pens are um, in a fine and medium. I have one broad, broad nib, and actually it's this one here. It's the Caveco Sport. And this is in the iridescent color. Absolutely love it. And I currently have it inked with the Sailor Man Haha because I thought they go really well together. Um, let's see here. Then my other Caveco, and this is in the olive green with the gold um, clip there. This one is in a fine nib. Okay, let's see. I'll show you the rest of my steel nibs and then I'll go into my gold nibs. This is another Lamy Safari, a Lamy Safari in violet. Yet again, another Lamy Safari. This is in Savannah. And then this one here is my Pilot Metropolitan, and this is in black, and this is in a fine nib. And last but not least, now this has been something that I have really recently enjoyed. Well, these have all been recent enjoyments, but relatively speaking, um, I got this through the virtual pen show on Instagram and somebody was selling this and I really, really, as, as I'll show you later, I really like this sort of color, um, the amber brownish color um, swatches. And when I saw this being sold, I felt like I had to get it. And so I did, and this is in the Birmingham Model A um, in Jurassic Amber. And it doesn't mention what nib this is, but I imagine it to be like a fine nib. And I have this inked in um, Diamine Ancient Copper, and I really, really like this uh, combination here. And then in my Galen Leather Pouch, I have my four gold nibbed pens. Um, let's move this here. The first one that I got is this here. Um, it's a Pilot E95S in a fine nib, and this is 14 karat. Then uh, this is my Pilot Falcon, and this is in a soft fine nib. There we go. This one here is a Sailor Pro Gear Mini, and this is in the older screw top format. Um, and I really like this. This is about the same size, really, as a Quebeco Sport. Uh, let me actually post this. 
and they are pretty much the same size here. Um, so my Sailor Pro Gear Mini, this is my only Sailor pen. Um, and it's currently, it's in a medium fine. Oops. And then this is my most re uh, recent acquisition. This is my Pilot Vanishing Point in a black matte color. And this is in my extra fine nib. All right, so let's do the swatches. So I'm going to just write, let's see, the month. So it's May 2022. And why don't I go ahead and just get started with this one here. This is my Twisby Eco. And I believe this is in the extra fine. Currently inked in my Iroshizuku Takisumi. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, next up. I'll do my Lamy All-Star. Wow, this, this actually, um, even though this is in a fine nib, it seems to write a lot more fine than the Twisby's Eco um, Extra Fine. Now this one is in the Iroshizuku Kompeki. Now you'll see a lot of my pens are inked up in the Pilot Iroshizuku inks. Um, these are just the ones that I picked up. Uh, just watching a lot of videos, um, I noticed that a lot of people really liked the Iroshizuku inks and that's what I have a lot of my pens inked up in. Um, this one here, oh, I forgot to do the swatch of the Kompeki. And then I have my Lamy Safari. And this is in the extra fine. Another pilot ink, the Roshizuku Fuyu Gaki. I really like this color. There you go. Oh, that's kind of, um, I have a little bit of black in there. Let me see if I could redo that. Beautiful. Okay, this is my Twisby Eco in the clear demonstrator. This one in. This one is in a fine nib. Another Iroshizuku. And this is in Siyoru. And what I love about this one is that it writes more blue when it's wet, and then as soon as it dries, it dries to more of a green, um, kind of dries on it on the greener side, um, more of a greener tint which I really, really enjoy. Okay, next up is my Coveco Sport in the navy blue. This one here is in a fine nib. And another Iroshizuku. Shizuku, I believe this is Sukio. Oh, love it. Okay, 
Now I have my Caveco in the iridescent, and this is in the medium nib. I This is the pen that got me to love a broader tip. Now, I know this isn't the broadest, but I was used to all the extra fines and the fines that when I finally got this one, um, I didn't realize how smooth uh, the, the writing could be. Um, and so actually because of this, um, I am really looking forward to getting more broad tipped pens. So this is a Coveco Sport, iridescent. And this is in a medium nib. Currently inked up in the Sailor Manyo Haha. Now this is probably the smoothest of all my Caveco sports and I absolutely love the combination of the olive green and the gold. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got a little fuzz. There we go. Caveco sport. The olive green. And I believe this is a fine, it's a fine nib. Inked up in the, ooh, okay, this is not Iroshizuku. Robert Oster's Fire and Ice. I absolutely love this color. Now, I, I've noticed that some people um, like to match their inks with their pens. I am a little impulsive. I just could not wait. I just inked out all my pens um, with random colors because I was just interested um, to see how the pens would write with that particular ink. Um, from probably after I empty out this cartridge or the converter, I'm actually going to um, get this paired with a green ink um, because I do realize that a part of me gets a little, I don't know, I just noticed that the color combination doesn't um, go together very well. However, I do have to say that this Robert Oster ink is definitely one of my favorite colors so far. Um, and so I'll figure out what I can pair that ink with um, on another time. Okay, right here, I got my Lamy Safari in violet. Can you see this? Let's see. Lamy Safari Violet. Now this is in my broadest nib, in a broad, and I absolutely love this color combination. Uh, this is a Noodler's. Now it used to be Apache Sunset, it's now Southwest Sunset. And this has to be my favorite color combination. Um, Absolutely gorgeous. This represents my alma mater, UW. So I've got my purple and gold. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, now I got my Lamy Safari. This is Savannah. This is in a medium nib. And this is inked up with uh, Ackerman's SBRE Brown. I really do like the warmish, the warm tone of this brown. There we go. Next up, we have the Pilot Metropolitan. This is in a fine nib, currently inked up in Diamine. I believe this is Writer's Blood. Oh, gorgeous, there we go. Okay, 
And then I have my Birmingham Model T. And this is inked up in Diamine Ancient Copper. Now, this also is one of my favorite color combinations. Model. Did I say Model T? I meant Model A. <laughs> Model A, and this is in Jurassic Amber. And this is in Diamine Ancient Copper. All right, now we have uh, my gold nib pens, and I have four of them here, and this is the first one that introduced me to the loveliness of gold nibbed pens. Um, and this one here is a Pilot E95S. This is in a fine nib, and this is currently inked. Iroshizuku once again. Inaho. And I have to say that this is also one of my favorite inks so far. It's got this rich, just olivey green um, color, which now in hindsight I'm thinking would look really good in my um, olive green Cabeco. So I'll probably do that the next time. Okay, and then these two pens actually I got together. Actually, it'll be, it'll be good for me to tell you where I got all these pens. These two I got from a, a buyer on eBay. And um, this is the Falcon, uh, the Pilot Falcon in Soft Fine. And then this is a Sailor Pro Gear Mini. And this is in a Medium Fine. What I'm finding is that this Medium Fine is actually, it feels more like an extra, extra fine. And it's got a lot of feedback, which is something that I'm realizing I don't really prefer. So I'm thinking of selling um, this pen here. However, uh, let me give this um, a swatch. So this is a Sailor. Do you see how fine this writing is? It's very fine. In fact, I think it's finer than my vanishing point in an extra fine. So this is a Sailor Pro Gear Mini. This is in a medium fine, however, extra, extra fine in my opinion. And this is in the Three Oysters. Oh my goodness, I think it's Scarlet. But I will have to let you know. Um, I don't think that's the name. But I, I'll put that in um, the notes if I didn't get that correct. And this is a beautiful kind of a brick red color. Okay, this again is um, the same. I bought it from the same buyer or the same seller on eBay. This is the Pilot. in a soft fine 14 carat and this is inked in the three oysters Han Kang Bu turns out it's actually Tan Chung here we go and last but not least is my Pilot Vanishing Point, and this is in an extra fine nib. And the ink is Platinum Carbon. All right, there we go. So here you have it, my fountain pen collection. Now this is a recent obsession of mine, like I had mentioned before, 
and I'm really excited to start this YouTube channel to share the things, the many things that I like. Right now it happens to be fountain pens and it'll be fun to see where this journey takes me. Um, I imagine that I'm going to whittle down my collection and just uh, focus on just a few select pens. Uh, really glad, really grateful that you have come this far in this video to watch and to share with me and my joy and my passion. And I will see you next time. Bye.